Hey guys, Steven here, and this time we'll be taking a look at um, an Aquaman Blu-ray unboxing, and this is just a standard release, so nothing too crazy, and my voice is low once again because there's people sleeping in the house, it's like 6 in the morning, so I went out and got it, and so um, just like my last unboxing, I'm planning to hopefully film this and then upload it before I head to class and then by the time I come home I'll probably watch it if I don't feel too tired or anything like that but yeah so let's get started shall we I got this one at Walmart so yeah and pretty much it's a standard blu-ray release um nothing too crazy about it so yeah and I will say this the slip cover has like this papery material I'm not sure you guys can hear it but it has this papery material and it, it doesn't have like that laminated you know that glossy finish that a lot of slip covers tend to have this is more of a matte um slip cover which to me it feels a lot more cheap i don't know it's just weird because if i compare this to the other dc extended universe movies that have slip covers um they were more you know glossy and more laminated this one is just papery and matte and just plain so yeah so you got the front cover right here includes sneak peek for shazam and digital copy so then the side aquaman and then other side aquaman and then you have the back which looks really cool so a nice shot of black manta um volko and orm and mara and atlana and yeah, so if you guys want to read some stuff, here it is. But yeah, so what'd you guys think of this movie? I personally love this movie. I think this movie was awesome. Easily probably one of my favorites last year. One of my favorite comic book movies. I just love how... Um, I don't know, I just love how they treated the character, love the costume way better than the Justice League one, and this whole movie made up for the underwhelming Justice League, in my opinion, and I just love how they took some of the old classic Aquaman stories, you know, with the Peter David stuff, and uh, of course, the, you know, the, I guess the not too long ago New 52 Jeff Johns run, you know, the whole Throne of Atlantis, so there's that. But yeah, I've seen this movie twice. I, the first time I saw it in the theater, in a regular movie theater. And, um, or the first time I said I saw it in a regular movie theater. And then the second time I saw it, um, in a drive-in. So, that was fun. But, yeah. So, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the movie. If you guys like it, if you guys hate it, just let me know. Love to hear your thoughts on it. And... I, and then hearing that Shazam is doing good, and even the recent Zack Snyder, you know, event with his director's cut showings that got people excited. So, yeah, and let me remove, or let me throw away the wrapper. And now I'm going to see and check for the digital code. And, yep, there's the digital code, and I'm just going to cover it, and here you go. I know you can scan this code or whatever, but I'm I'm going to be using the digital code after this video, so yeah. So that's how it looks. Then you have the back right here, which I mean it's pretty generic and then okay, these discs are really cool. At least they seem more unique than the Justice League and the Wonder Woman ones. At least to me, even though it's just, as you guys can see here, it's just a trident. There, here's the Blu-ray, and here's the DVD. At least, they look better than the other past DCEU um, disc designs. So, there's that. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, this is just a standard Blu-ray release, and yeah, I think my only drawback is just I don't like how matte... Um, the slip cover is and how cheap and papery it feels if that's even a term but yeah so that's all there is to it 
Um, this is Steven, and I'll see you guys next time.